Okay, I just wanted to do another quick video here on the Victorinox Tinker. I totally forgot I had this one. I've had it in my truck uh, for a long time. I have a little bag in there that I, you know, have a little bit of medical stuff, have band-aids, have suture stuff, have, you know, skin glue, gloves, shears, uh, a few knives, flashlights, uh, matches, that type of stuff. And I just totally forgot that this one's been in there. It's been in there a long time. But this, I actually wondered where it was because this this, this is my favorite uh, Victoria Knox knife, I believe. Um, there's others that do a whole lot more, but this one is probably the most basic and covers most of your everyday needs. Um, and I'm actually going to add this one back to my EVC uh, and just throw it in my back left pocket. You know, it's so useful um, and so light that you just forget it's there. The Victoria Knox Cadet is kind of in the same category, but it's missing a lot of the functions I like of this one. One being that this is bigger, um, has the bigger blade, bigger handle, fits my hand a little bit better. Um, you can do a little bit tougher work with it. Um, it has toothpick and tweezers if you need them. Don't use either a whole lot, but whenever you get stuck, something stuck in your finger and you have to wait till later in the day to get home or whatever uh, to get it out with a pair of tweezers it's kind of a pain in the butt so it's nice to have those if you have if you uh you know have the need on the rare occasion has all the normal things everybody's uh sure of i'm sure you know everybody's aware of already um can opener uh small uh, screwdriver you could even use it for phillips Flat screwdriver, bottle lifter, wire stripper. Um, this one, the flat one, does have a half stop, which I like. You can get a little bit more tor uh, torque on it if you need to, using the handle as the pry. Um, you can use this as a mini pry bar. Just know its limitations or you'll snap it off. Um, but yeah, you can open paint cans, you know, pry little things, scrape paint. I use that a ton. You can even open bottle of wine if you need to. Um, with that one, this one's easier though. You stab in the cork this way. And because the uh, end here where it cuts the can is a little bit offset, it will grab that cork as you twist it around, keep pulling, and it'll pull it right up out. So you don't need a corkscrew. So that's why I choose to leave it off. Makes it uh, slimmer and thinner as well. On the back you have Phillips screwdriver. Reason I like this is because some uh, things, especially like plastic junk now, has that recessed Phillips, and you can't get it get to it with this one. You have to use this. So I love having that. I use that all the time on my other uh, Victorinox. This one has the all. Um, I don't use this a whole lot, but I use it mainly for like scraping. If I need to mark something, I'll use that. I don't use leather, work with leather or anything like that, except you know my belt and I don't have to reshape that very often. So it's not a big use for me, um, but it's nice to have that. Um, every other function on this I use. Um, it's nice having this small backup blade. Um, and the reason I use this one is if I'm doing something junky and I don't want to mess up my main blade, um, you know, by putting dings and dents in it, I'll use this one. And then I don't mind sharpening this one. It's easier to sharpen, smaller, takes less time. Not that this one's hard to sharpen. Smaller blade, easier to sharpen though. So I use that one for junkier tasks. But otherwise, it's a uh, good, good knife. Um, I like it. I'm gonna take this uh, key ring off. I don't know why I left this one on there. I don't like these. Um, I don't use lanyards on my knives, really, ever. Um, so I don't like those because you flip them up and they'll get stuck like in that, the all for instance, when you're trying to close it. And so I may even grind this off at some point. I don't know why I haven't yet, but anyway, any questions as always, please like, share and subscribe. And I'm going to do a quick paper test. I almost forgot before I get out of here. Pretty darn sharp. I think it has a small burr on it somewhere, but 
for all intents and purposes, I'd say it's doing pretty darn well. I'm gonna find that fur, touch it up. But otherwise, it's doing great. All right, thank you everybody, have a good day.